Good morning, everyone. It's May 14th, and um, I just thought I would walk through the garden and show you what's growing. We finished a pretty busy March and April, I think. I decided um, to use all the iris that I had, and I had some good porch uh, sales. Um, but now I'm waiting for our summer flowers. So let's do a quick garden tour. And my hope is that I can do this once a month. Hi everyone, my name is Sujata. I am the owner of a small boutique floral shop called Jax's Blooming. I am located in Zone 9B in California and much of what I grow is in my backyard and my front yard. I am a third year flower grower. Um, my first year was simply trying to convert my yard to flower beds with irrigation. I think my second year I added perennials to my front yard. My goal was to have all the greenery that I would need for my arrangements in my yard. And then this third year is the first year that I'm actually planning and I'm doing succession planting and slowly trying to make sure that I don't have too many flowers. Now I wait for all my summer flowers, which are dahlia, zinnia, sunflowers. I hope to make these once a month. So if you are not a subscriber and you're watching this, please join us for the journey. It's Jax's Blooming. And uh, if you are a subscriber, we'd welcome your comments and um, hope that you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. All right, enjoy. So first things first, this is the side yard and you'll see the seedlings that I've got outside, um, sort of in the shade here, so they tend to um, grow. We've had really good success with strawberries, which we all love. Then as I walk forward, the next major thing to bloom in my yard are these Asiatic lilies. Several of them here, they do naturalize, they do perennialize. This is cilantro. Let's see if I can zoom in, if you can see this. Um, it's amazing. I trimmed, I used all the cilantro and I usually leave one or two plants because I will collect seed pods and then I scatter them again in September for winter cilantro which grows really well here so this is the first crop of uh, flowers i've got these in two three different locations there's chocolate with white there's the dark maroon the oranges and the yellows so kind of excited to uh, harvest these and use them in um, either the mason jars or graduation bouquets so as i walk along this is one of my garden beds. If you got any arrangements from Jax's Blooming, you would have seen these pink roses and some of these white and orange ones. And if you're lucky enough to get a yellow, this is so fragrant. I actually love keeping these just in my room. So this bed I will most likely plant for fall colors. I decided this is really hot in the summer and I have a lot of other planting space. So I'm starting to add perennials to it. Um, and all of these are per perennials I like to use. These are dahlias coming up. This is um, Dusty Miller starting a hellebore patch, um, trying to see if I can sort of spread them here. And then that would give me flowers in December, January, February. Uh, this is a new perennial and I will have to post the name because I've forgotten. Um, but it has these really great yellow flowers. Here's the blueberry bushes. Uh, this is the orchard that my daughter decided that we needed to convert. So we have blueberry, we have an espalier apple, olives that we harvest, apricots that I've never seen, and a violetta fig. And, um, and then we've got some perennials in the back. I'm really kind of liking the jasmine back here. I planted this a year and a half, two seasons ago, and it does spread and I've put wire, so I've got to get a couple more to sort of add an accent to the fence. And then from here, we walk to one of my major growing areas. I planted about 50 gladiolas, so we'll see how they do when they come up. This is Aldara and Ami. 
and it opens up into these amazing sort of purple and maroon blossoms and you can see it it's just opening up and usually you wait till it's mostly open now this is something I'm really proud of these are lisianthus seedlings lisianthus but it's sort of a rose flowered um, it's, it's sort of a blossom that's rose flowered. It's extremely valued. It's a really premium flower. And the reason is that I started the seeds December 1st. Here we are six months later. I planted them about two weeks ago here. And as you can see, they've put on some height and growth. But I'm really excited about this. And I've got this fenced off so the dog doesn't go trampling these five month old seedlings. Then as you walk down, here's some status. Um, which I, I love because I, I have an order this weekend for purple and white and I've got and I love it I love the natural the colors of the season so I tend to use the lavender and the status that's growing and then of course the iris then I've got about 40 or 50 sunflowers about five six different varieties um, the sweet William that is almost done for the season um, I love Dusty Miller I don't love its flowers, but I love the color that it kind of adds to cool flowers. Um, here, these are going in blossom. I'm really happy these were hard to start, and I'm really happy that they've naturalized. And then you can see all my dahlias, sort of the bushy green things just coming up. I'm waiting for my peonies to set bud. It, they are just um, two, three years old now. Maybe this is their second season. And then the ranunculus that's done have some zinnia seedlings and so this is where i sort of tend to plant things dig them out put new things in this hydrangea bush thrives over here i tried putting it in the ground but it's just too hot we are a west facing backyard so it's pretty hot um, and um, and i love using hydrangeas they take a little bit of work. This is a sort of citronella type of geranium, which um, seems pretty kind of tiny to use as a flower, but what I like are using the leaves and adding a fragrant stem or two to the um, bouquet or the arrangement. More lilies. I think these were both yellow because they're just starting to break. And then this will become Rudbeckia and sunflower and then I have a whole bunch of cosmos here. They're really tiny, so I just kind of started this bed uh, this past couple of weeks. So as I walk the other way, here's where I harvest most of my flowers. And uh, you can see that this is generally what our backyard looks like in early May.